Hey guys. I'm gonna take this uh, LS430 for a ride. It's seven o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. Uh, let's just do a little walkthrough. Uh, I figured we'd get one of these POV rides in. Looks nice. I'm starting to, uh, you know, fix the little broken parts on it. Uh, I've ordered the rear sunshade, which is coming next week. I've ordered new keys because this is just the valet keys. But I need to get those programmed in. But here it is. All right. Cold start. Turn off the AC. Let's put it on low. I can't turn off the AC all the way. It's too hot. All right, let's go. I'm just gonna go for a donut run and ship, please. Pretty quiet morning. I can't see shit with this sun. Big cat. Oh, it's fat. It's probably pregnant. This thing is so smooth. It's quiet and smooth.
clean interior. I'm gonna get the uh, the ground V line too installed next week. I'll do it myself. It's it's pretty easy. I've done it before with the uh, the Mazda Miata I had and the uh, what was the other car? The 2008 Toyota Sienna Limited. It's pretty easy to install. It might take me about 45 minutes to install just to get it done properly. Probably the hardest part of it is uh, you know not making sure not to mark the uh, the dash with your tools and uh, dropping that freaking 10 millimeter bolts. You, know, you drop it behind the dash, it's just you won't find it. Other than that, that's pretty straightforward. And then you just wire, run the wiring to the dash. I mean the uh, the glove box. Pretty easy. So all it is is a piggyback system. to lower my seat here for the GoPro to, to capture a better view so I can't use my mirrors and I can't use my rear view mirror well if I do this that's not bad let's do the uh, 0 to 60 our, 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 I need to make a left turn on that light on the next light so I put it on ECT mode and let's see how fast this thing goes turn that off for you guys huh that's weird there's broken glass and a rock right there it's weird maybe somebody smashed someone's car Shipley's always has a line. <sighs> Hopefully we don't wait too long. It's even worse with the new Dunkin' Donut in the area. I mean, people are fighting on the drive-thru. If you order too slow, they'll start honking at you. I mean, that didn't happen to me. They did that to an older couple who took maybe three minutes longer to order. People started honking at them, which is really sad. They always have an option of, uh, you know, walking out of their cars and ordering inside, but eh, people these days. Mm, that's a nice accord. You see how outdated the nav is. We're going to put Apple CarPlay on this thing or Android Auto. The resolution's gonna suck, but it's better than the stock, you know, 16 year old unit. So we'll see. Just something about these older cars that I like. I don't know what it is, but uh, I like it. Uh, oh, you know what I like is the uh, 
the really soft suspension the body feel you just don't feel anything everything's numb steering on this one on this thing feels like it's a uh, hydraulic so there's that I think one of the main differences between this one and the Avalon if I'm not mistaken the Avalon that I had uh, the 2008 limited version I think that one had electric power steering it was even more numb that was a good car but the problem was the uh, the uh, the oil leaked out of it and I was driving for a significant amount of time without you know without knowing that it it all leaked out there's no warnings on the dashboard that hey you lost uh, oil pressure stop driving I just found that when I parked it on my garage it's a it's a common defect they used a, a rubber hose that disintegrated because it's you know it's an old Toyota most of the rubber pieces just disintegrate Hello. Good morning. Hey, let me get a uh, six glaze and six uh, chocolate frosted donuts. Anything else? That's it. Hopefully they don't mind the camera. much was that 11 bucks it's not bad yeah I don't usually put this on um, ECT power mode thank you I usually don't put this thing on ECT power mode because I don't really drive like that. Maybe if I'm, you know, driving in downtown Houston on 610, 59, those highways where I, where I need to merge really quickly, I'll turn it on then, but I just put it on normal mode. Can I go? Can I go? Oh, so smooth. Donuts.
go, bro. Next time I'll drive the uh, the QX60. You know, I haven't really recorded much video while driving the LX570. I'll, I'll do that too. I'll put that on a bucket list. The 570 and the QX60. The QX60, my wife drives it a lot, so we'll see. I got the uh, 17 inch wheels I just you know 18s might be a little too bumpy maybe not but I like it as comfortable as possible so People still bought Buick cars. This car is so quiet, you can hear the keys kind of rattling. That's that's funny. Oh, we're home. for watching.